No, you can't say he needs no introduction and then you can't go on for five minutes. You know, that's not how it works. Krishna's truly blown away by, you know, what I've seen here. Truly a world-class uh, facility. My compliments, congratulations to you and the entire team of Sai Life Sciences. <laughs> truly world-class. I am blown away, mesmerized. I running short of adjectives. Brilliant. I mean, uh, it's truly on par with some of the best facilities I've seen in the world. And I've traveled the world, I've seen quite a few facilities. This is by far one of the best in the world that I've seen. Delighted that is, it is in Hyderabad. Delighted that uh, we are, uh, you know, in the middle of uh, this wonderful life sciences cluster. To Krishna, of course, uh, and also Shiva, Shiva Chittur, the CEO of life, uh, Sai Life Sciences. To all the employees, the customers, to the partners of Sai Life Sciences, a very good afternoon to all of you. The outset, firstly, let me wish all my fellow Indians a very warm greeting on the 74th Independence Day. Wish you all uh, a very happy Independence Day. I'm delighted and honored to be here. Truly, like I said, um, a world-class facility which has just been inaugurated, the research and technology uh, facility of Sai Life Senses. Shakti, in fact, uh, and Jayesh have just told me before uh, I walked onto the stage, while Sai may have been the first CRO company to have, uh, you know, uh, come up in Hyderabad, today I'm delighted to share with all of you all the top five CRO companies in India, and possibly some of the best in the world, all of them are now in Hyderabad. In fact, uh, along with Sai, all of your top competition is also here. So I think um, it's in a way good for the ecosystem, it's in a way good for all of you as well as we continue to expand the life sciences ecosystem. As um, Krishna pointed out from a very humble beginning, Dr. Rangaraj Garu, with about 15 lakh rupees in 1999, uh, you know, around the millennium, had founded this company and today it's truly become global. I mean, seeing all the testimonies and, uh, you know, uh, appreciation from your clients from across the world and from partners, what, what really was uh, voluminous there was, what really was very impressive in the testimonials was not just that they were a diverse set from various parts of the world. More importantly, they are long-term, long-term associates, long-term partners. That really shows the value and ethos and uh, uh, the kind of fabric that really binds all of you together. So my compliments on building long-term relationships, my compliments on making this a unbelievably impressive success story. I'm also told that about seven of the top ten global innovator pharma companies and several small and mid-sized innovators are now clients of your company and you're supporting their innovation from Hyderabad. I'd also like to take this opportunity, like I said, to thank and appreciate and recognize the founder of this company, Dr. Rangaraj Garu. And of course, over the last 15 years, ever since Krishna returned from the United States, he has really shaped up this company into a global enterprise. And I believe Sai Life Sciences is one of the fastest growing CRO and CDMO companies in India. I do believe that, uh, 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 as Krishna pointed out, in a recent meeting, you also point opened uh, R&D facilities in the in United States and also United Kingdom. Sincerely congratulate all of you, but also more importantly, as was pointed out by your partners and customers, all the life-saving medicines that you help them develop is what is really, uh, you know, important in today's times, especially as pandemic is on the top of everybody's mind across the world. Your research and technology center, I'm told, is going to be the nerve center for your R&D activity and also will accelerate in disco the discovery and development of new drugs. I took a brief tour of your facility and like I said, truly world class and uh, some very, very unique features that I've never seen anywhere, even in the United States. I'm glad that Hyderabad continues to be your backbone. Hyderabad continues to be the base of uh, what you're doing because you're working with more than 1,000 global innovators in their vision to improve healthcare. And as the life sciences ecosystem in Hyderabad continues to grow. I'm sure there will be many more opportunities. The current size of the life sciences ecosystem in Hyderabad is about $50 billion. And our ambitious goal, you know, that we've set for ourselves to enable and to facilitate all young entrepreneurs is that we want this $50 billion to grow into a $100 billion enterprise value and 400,000 more jobs, direct jobs, to come up right here 
in our own city of Hyderabad, in our, store, in our own state of Telangana. Genome Valley, which is where we are now, has come out and emerged into one of the leading hotspots for life sciences in Asia. And it is continuing to grow and it is continuing to remain a preferred destination for many global companies. Our government's focus, in, focus on life sciences is going to intensify further in the next few years. The reason why I say this is because now every government across the world has no choice but to invest more in healthcare, in life sciences, the, the, life science, the entire life sciences continuum. Today we import 78% of our med devices. While we take a lot of pride in being the pharmaceutical capital of India and bulk drugs capital of India, while we also take a lot of pride in being the vaccine hub for the world, it is a fact that med devices, again, uh, a majority of the med devices, in fact, lion's share of them are imported. So to maintain this life sciences continuum and to build on the impressive uh, set of companies that we have in our life sciences spectrum, we will continue our endeavors and we will ensure that uh, all support is given to aspiring entrepreneurs in the life sciences ecosystem from the government of Telangana. Hyderabad has a brilliant edge and a competitive advantage of becoming the research and development hub for entire Asia, not just in India. We need companies like SAI to come forward and contribute to the growth of the life sciences sector. I'm also told more than 2,000 global clients of yours and partners are actually uh, joining us today virtually. I'd like to assure all of them who are with us virtually that the government of Telangana will continue to support the growth of the industry and also ensure that the ecosystem plays an important role in all of your aspirations that you have for your enterprises. I'd also like to use this opportunity to urge you all, in fact, those of you who are watching, to consider setting up your footprint in Hyderabad. More than 1.5 million square foot of plug-and-play facilities is currently under development in this cluster, the Genome Valley, to make it extremely easy and asset light for companies to come in and hit the ground running. Let me point out to you all that Hyderabad has always been known as the life sciences capital of our country. As I pointed out, we contribute to more than 40% of pharmaceutical production in India. We are already, in fact, home to more than 800 life sciences companies, including the likes of Novartis, GSK, Lonza, Chemo, Ferring, Mylan, among others. Our aspiration, as I pointed out, is to grow this manifold. Also take this opportunity to point out that the government remains absolutely committed to sustainable and responsible development. Genome Valley is a great example of our commitment to sustainable development. This cluster was envisaged as a clean manufacturing and innovation cluster. And we do not permit any pollution intensive industry within a radius of 10 kilometers from this cluster. Even in the new initiatives of the government, like Hyderabad Pharma City, which will be the world's largest, single largest pharma cluster. We are deploying the best in case, best in class technology and environmental infrastructure to ensure sustainability. I firmly believe in the four E's, the four E mantra as we keep chanting. Economic activity, environmental concern, environment as a priority, employment to locals and employment to Indians, and empowerment across there are many things that divide us, women, men, you know, the sex divide, the rural-urban divide, etc., etc. We are fully committed to ensuring that this amazing sector, life sciences, which already has a fantastic uh, uh, you know, hub in Hyderabad, will thrive, will continue to grow. And uh, with impressive companies like Sai Life Sciences and their trajectory inspiring us, I believe that Hyderabad will become the research and development hub, not just for India, but for the entire Asian continent. Once again, my compliments, Krishna, to you, to Dr. Rangaraju Garu, to your entire team at SAI. My good wishes, and uh, once again, truly impressed with what I've seen, and uh, all the very best. Thank you very much.